going on guys? It's Michael, Life of a Fighter and UFC Jim Huntington alongside Kyle Collier. Alright, so what we're going to go over today is for our striking technique of the week, we're going to go to a Muay Thai specific style, okay? So in Muay Thai, a lot of times they're throwing that teep kick and that front push kick or even a rear push kick, okay? And the use of it is really to create distance, but also it can be a powerful kick. So no matter how they're utilizing it, there's going to be a little bit of a counter move for it. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be throwing my lead push kick towards Kyle. What Kyle wants to do is he's going to use his left hand to swim it by and then return a rear roundhouse kick of his own to my leg. So I throw that push kick, he knows it's coming, swims it by, and then boom, chops out the leg. Now notice guys, he chopped out close to the back of the knee. That's what's going to cause that leg to buckle. Okay, so we'll kind of go from another angle. So Kyle, let's go from your back right there. So if you watch Kyle's back, okay, just slightly go to your right. Yeah, there you go. So if you watch from Kyle's back, okay, I'm gonna throw that push kick. He used that on his bike, cuts an angle, and then he chops out with that kick. Beautiful. And then we can go from the opposite side. So we'll, again, change the angle. We'll go to the right side now. Same concept, but he's just gonna throw a lead leg kick instead to that side, and then chop. Exactly. Again, guys, that's a beautiful combo, not just for Muay Thai, but for MMA as well, because it's a utilized kick. So check that out, guys. Enjoy it. 